Hi everyone, I wanted to cover one particular item of the Milestone 3 Guidelines and Rubric um, document. Uh, for the most part, you should be able to get by just by reviewing the sample final project. It'll show you how to address these items. But the one in particular that I wanted to talk about is the second bullet point. Evaluate the extent to which the study applied the principles of a well-designed experiment. In other words, was the specific methodology used sound? For example, did they employ proper sampling in their research design? You're not to meant to just answer this question as a viewpoint question. What you're meant to do is, I'll show you, in the classroom, go to Course Menu, click on Learning Modules, then click on Module 6, and then click on this item here, Reading and Resources. So inside the Module 6 Learning Module, with Reading and Resources, with the Reading and Resources item, you'll find this document. Guidelines for students in an introductory course to design successful experiments. I want you to click that link. And now here you have um, 10 cornerstones of a well-designed experiment. I'm looking for you to specifically reference some of these. You don't have to reference all of them. But it should be clear to me that you understand these 10 cornerstones of a well-designed experiment. And that you uh, pick some out as far as ones that they did do. And you pick some out as far as what they didn't do. As long as you do that, you'll be just fine. It's actually easier to do things this way because instead of just trying to answer the question off the top of your head, what are they looking for? You will be able to kind of checklist these. Again, I'm not looking for you to address all 10 of them and say which ones they did and which ones they didn't, but a few of these should be prominent. Uh, either because they really did them well or because they didn't do them at all or did a poor job on them. Uh, so that's what I'm looking for for that piece uh, of the instructions. The other thing I want to point out is, is that the rubric for the third milestone is a lot more streamlined than the other rubrics. It doesn't break everything down. Uh, it basically just asks you to include a complete assignment with a complete introduction part, a complete analysis part, and a complete discussion part. So I will be giving you, your instructor will give you your last bit of advice uh, when you submit Milestone 3 before submitting the sample final, pro I'm sorry, before submitting the final project. Some students may actually have a perfect assignment that hits exemplary where it's supposed to be exemplary, and then your instructor should let you know that. or the instructor is going to give you some tips on things that you want to touch up and look at again because if I can show you the final project uh, this is the milestone for final for the final project I'm sorry the rubric for the final project and you will see let's scroll down that under the discussion part which is basically the milestone three part you are asked to hit exemplary on the three different bullet points so that's why under well-designed experiment you want to make sure that you cite a few specific things from the document that I just showed you that had um, let's go back to it from this document here again you can find this document under uh, module 6 reading and resources and then it's the second link here and for the rest of the items or just in general it's probably a good idea to review the sample final project one more time paying close attention uh, to the comments made here in the margins area and that you carefully read because there's a chance that you'll get there's also a chance I should mention that you get full credit on the milestone 3 assignment but that does not mean that you'll get full credit on the final project always check the graded rubric uh, for the milestone 3 assignment to see what comments if any uh, for improvements your instructor gives you or there's a chance that your instructor, instructor will actually tell you that you're good to go for the final project. Um, and any questions you may have, make sure to post them in the classroom.